<laughs> so, we're live. We're still down here at Kids. We're going to be here all weekend, and we have police on guard down here showing their support. So, what's your message to the people that are here and to the people who are watching? Stand your ground. Absolutely stand your ground. Uh, we're 100% in support of this movement. You know, uh, we've had government overreach. They have violated just about every single section of the charter there is. So stand your ground. They have no, these mandates mean nothing. What do they mean? They haven't even, the government haven't even, um, as is required by law, gone in front of a judge to say, hey, we need to infringe on somebody's rights to privacy, uh, rights to their rights and freedoms. They haven't even gone and done that. That's section one. They haven't gone and, and pass the Oaks test to say, okay, well, we're gonna violate your, your rights because we can do that. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna do whatever we want. No, it doesn't work that way. You've gotta go in front of the judge, prove, demonstrably prove that there's a reason to do so. And then you gotta say, okay, well, we're gonna violate your rights by doing this. The minimal amount, absolutely minimal amount that they can do for the shortest amount of time. They can't just do whatever they want. Trudeau's gone and said, okay, well, hang on, you're a Canadian, you can't leave the country and you can't get back in. And if you do come back in, you've got to take this test, which is infringes on your rights. You can't just do that. Right? He's decided to do all these things himself without getting proper authority. What, does, what is our country built on? The supremacy of God and the rule of law. So follow the rule of law. He hasn't done it. So all these mandates mean nothing. So I say to the people down here, hold your ground. We go, we're trying to go down here and advise the police. They got three things that they've done when they swore an oath. They swore to defend, to defend the citizens of Canada, to enforce the law and uphold the Constitution and the Charter which is embedded into the Constitution. That's their job. And that's what we're asking them to do. Uphold their oath. So I tell everybody here, stand your ground. Fantastic. And so Wednesday night, they had a very large police presence here. I saw that. And were you here for that presence? No, I wasn't. And so you're probably very familiar with it, though. Yes. And so what would you say to those police officers that came out with that kind of militarized tactical response to the civilians, the families, the children that were here that evening? Well, I would hope that they would remember their oath and that's to protect the citizens. There's no need to do that. Absolutely no need. There's no threats here. This is a peace-loving gathering. Everybody here is, I haven't seen anybody, any animosity or nothing. There's no hazards around here. The only hazards I saw yesterday was actually the police speeding through the, uh, the one lane that's open there. Like, slow down. I actually went over and spoke to the RCMP about that. I said, look, you know, what can I do to help you make sure that everybody's kept safe, right? I said, one thing I would recommend is that you tell your officers not to speed through that. They're going through a high speed. You've got kids running around. So, and everybody else, all the, dem all the protesters, they're going through really, really slowly. Everybody's looking out and being mindful. So, yeah, that's what I would say to them. Remember your oath of office. Remember what you're supposed to do. That, that's to enforce the law. And all these mandates are illegal. And so what do you think of the media? Because the media has really portrayed this protest as, you know, swastikas and, you know, Confederate flags, and they portrayed, you know, violence and, uh, you know, and, and here in Coots in particular, there's this whole, they're blocking off the border, they're blocking off the border. We're here today, and I see about 25 police cars blocking the road, but not a single protester blocking the road. Well, let me tell you, I just came back from Ottawa. I was absolutely, I don't even know, there's no word to describe it. Gobsmacked would be the best thing I could say. I saw all the protesters as I was driving out. It was um, absolutely amazing to see, you know, how Canada's come together. In Ottawa, what's the first thing Justin Trudeau said? The protesters were stealing the food of the, uh, of the homeless. I got photographs of the protesters giving food to the homeless. In fact, they had, here's big, lots of food, and it's free, help yourself. 
They're clearing away the hazards that are on the sidewalk. This is no different here. So when I rolled up with, uh, with our science police on guard, the CBC said, hey, can I, can, we, can, we, can we, no, you can't interview us, no. We've got nothing to say to you. You spin everything the wrong way and you're full of lies. They wouldn't, like, they wouldn't post it anyway. Yeah, probably not, but we weren't <laughs> going to even talk to them. I, yeah, I, just out of, I would never talk to them. We had no interest in talking to them. We were down here yesterday, we were out in Coots this morning. Again, where's the hazard? There's no hazard anywhere. The people aren't doing anything wrong. We're protesting. Why are we protesting? Because of the illegal mandates and the overreach of government. What else are you supposed to do? It's like we tell the officers over here. If you want to do your job and, and arrest someone for committing a crime, go to Ottawa and arrest Justin Trudeau. Go up to Edmonton and arrest Jason Kenney. And go and arrest the rest of the, the council who have just voted to keep people in a mask forever. What does Section 2 of the Charter say? Freedom of expression. Well, is that freedom of expression? What's the benefit? There's no scientific evidence to support wearing a bloody mask, especially for children. Like, what are we doing? It doesn't make sense. All I'm saying is, I say it to everybody here, I say it down in the coots, hold your ground. We support you. We love you. Like you're, you're doing this for Canada and you're trying to help make sure that we can keep Canada so we can bring up our kids in the future and they can have the same freedoms that we've had. And that's why we're fighting. I've got two grandkids. I'm fighting for them. And every trucker that I've spoken to are fighting for somebody. And it's usually grandkids or it's usually their children. They want to make sure they have freedom. What do we want? We want the same thing, right? Absolutely. So you heard it, Canadians, police on guard. Hold the ground. Hold the line. Stand the ground. Hold the line. <laughs>